Good afternoon. And welcome to the Santa Clara County Peace Officers Memorial Ceremony. I am extremely, extremely honored to be, with you, be here with you today. On behalf of the men and women of the Santa Clara Sheriff's Office, I'd like to express our deepest gratitude for your attendance and provide my heartfelt condolences to the surviving family members, friends, and partners. I want to personally acknowledge our fallen heroes, friends, and family members who are with us today. So if you would, please stand or raise your hand as I call your family's name. The family of Deputy Paul Bush, Santa Clara County Sheriff's Office. The family of Officer Michael Johnson, San Jose Police Department. Family of Officer Robert Wirt, San Jose Police Department. Family of Michael, Officer Michael Catherman, San Jose Police Department. Family of Officer Scott Greenlee, California Highway Patrol. Family of Officer Charles Fracker, San Jose Department of Public Safety. Family of Officer Gary Larson, Sunnyvale Department of Public Safety. Family of Officer Manny Lopez, Sunnyvale Department of Public Safety. Thank you. Your presence here today is of great significance and is sincerely appreciated. You know, there are also many officials and dignitaries present with us today whom I'd like to acknowledge, but to ensure that no one is overlooked, I will introduce you by group. And when acknowledged, please briefly stand or raise your hand. Your presence today is also certainly recognized and appreciated. So with that, I'd like to welcome all the police chiefs, their designated representatives from federal, state, and local law enforcement, and other public safety agencies. Thank you for being with us. Welcome to the district attorney, the public defender, the chief of probation, or their designated representatives of these offices. Welcome to our board of supervisors, our mayors, our city council members, our local and state elected officials, and other designated representatives. Thank you. Welcome to our city managers, our county executive's office, the Santa Clara County Valley Transit Authority, county and city department heads, or other designated representatives. Thank you. Welcome to our superior court judges, commissioners, and Santa Clara County court representatives. And finally, I'd like to welcome, as well as thank with tremendous gratitude, all the men and women present today who put their lives on the line every single shift, our patrol personnel. Thank you for being with us today. You know, in 1962, the same year I was born actually, President John F. Kennedy proclaimed May 15th as National Peace Officers Memorial Day, acknowledging officers who have lost their lives in the line of duty, an opportunity to respect, honor, and remember these individuals. Today's memorial service and ceremony honors the brave and heroic life of the law enforcement officers who made that ultimate sacrifice while serving the people of Santa Clara County. A county that mourns the loss of life of our law enforcement heroes from agencies large and small, urban and rural. It's not a question of where these officers served, but more impor importantly, that they served us all with honor, integrity, and heroism. In valor, there is hope. Those words, that quote, is etched into the marble walls of the National Law Enforcement Memorial in Washington, D.C. They're protected by the bronze lions, which guard those names of more than 22,000, 22,000 officers inscribed on that wall, commemorating those killed in the line of duty since 1786. 
Officers and deputies' names on this memorial faced the most dangerous encounters, life-threatening situations, and ultimately sacrificed their lives in the line of duty. Yet despite the obstacles, they protected each of us from harm and kept our communities safe. They didn't allow the evils of society to overshadow their commitment to protecting and serving our public. Over the decades we have served, me included, the other law enforcement officers present here today, have had too many names of our colleagues added to these memorials. There's a quote I wish could be a reality, and it goes like this. If tears could build a stairway and memories a lane, I'd walk right up to heaven and bring you home again. Look around and you will see officers, deputies, agents, in the profession of this love, our titles and assignments may differ, but we are bound as one in this profession. We care for our communities deeply that we serve as well as for each other. We are unified family, a law enforcement family, a family that never forgets its own. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin by observing the tradition of the riderless horse, which symbolizes our heroes who have fallen in the line of duty. At this time, I ask you to please stand for the posting of the colors in the national anthem. Sergeant Alamudi, march on the colors. Sergeant Alamudi, bring formation to attention. Sergeant Alamudi, post the colors.
Sergeant Alamudi, bring formation to President Arms. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, who say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the Moody, bring formation to order arms. Please remain standing as Pastor Michael Birchfield leads the invocation. As Sheriff Johnson said, my name is Michael Birchfield, and I've been a pastor in Santa Clara County down in Morgan Hill since 1987, but a chaplain for Morgan Hill Police Department since 2008. And one of the greatest privileges in my ministry career has been serving as a chaplain for a law enforcement agency to lift up prayers to Almighty God for the law enforcement community and especially to grieve and to pray for the families of officers who have fallen in the line of duty. And so when I was invited to come and offer the invocation, it was a great honor and a privilege to accept this opportunity. And so I'm going to ask you to join with me. Let's lift up our, our hearts to Almighty God. Let's all pray together. Great God and Heavenly Father, we come before you, acknowledging you, knowing that from everlasting to everlasting, you are God, knowing that you established from time immemorial certain entities for the ordering of society, one of which is civil government, and within civil government, in our context, the law enforcement community, 
and you've ordained civil government and the law enforcement community to uphold the good, to put down the bad, to put down the evil, to uphold laws for the good of society, to pursue and to prosecute those who would steal the peace of society, to arrest the criminal elements so that citizens might live peaceful lives, safe lives. And so we've gathered here today first to thank you that you've established these institutions and to thank you for our civil government, all that serve, but particularly the law enforcement community who, as was said earlier, risks their lives every shift in order to keep our society and our communities safe. And so we ask that you would continue to shine upon them, but we ask a particular blessing upon the families of the fallen. And we pray that you would continue to extend to them peace in their hearts and comfort in their hearts, a peace and a comfort that only you can extend. And so we end this memorial ceremony of ours. We thank you that we can pray to you. We thank you that you're with us. Guide us now. Amen. Sergeant Alamudi, formation, have formation at ease and be seated. Radio communication is a lifeline at every law enforcement officer nationwide. The sound of police radio, the traffic is very distinct and is a second language for law enforcement officers. The reply of the dispatcher on the other end of that radio is often the last words heard by a fallen officer. At this time, Santa Clara County Communication will conduct a countywide broadcast of a Code 33 which translates to an emergency do not transmit. It's typically used when an officer is, inv is involved in a life-threatening situation. This transmission will be followed by a 42-second moment of silence shared by all on-duty law enforcement personnel monitoring our frequency throughout Santa Clara County. Attention all units, in remembrance of all 42 law enforcement officers who have lost their lives in the line of duty while serving the communities of Santa Clara County, we will be code 33 for the next 42 seconds. To all family members at the Peace Officers Memorial today, present and those joining us virtually, our thoughts and prayers remain with you always. It is not how these officers died that made them heroes, it's how they lived. Gone but not forgotten. Attention all units, frequency is clear for normal traffic at 1226 hours. The moment has come to conduct the roll call of honor. In remembrance of those deputies and officers, who will forever be remembered for their law enforcement service. If I could ask the agency representatives to fall in at this time to begin the roll call. Representing the Santa Clara County Sheriff's Office is Assistant Sheriff Michael Doty.
Santa Clara County Sheriff's Office. Deputy Sheriff Martin J. Ruhan, end of watch, October 23rd, 1862. Deputy Sheriff William H. Hendricks, end of watch, February 15th, 1866. Deputy Sheriff George T. Heaton, end of watch, October 19th, 1897. Deputy Sheriff Herbert W. McCauley, end of watch, November 11th, 1931. Deputy Sheriff Eugene F. Denton, end of watch, July 8th, 1955. Deputy Sheriff Spencer L. Little, end of watch, December 2nd, 1983. Deputy Sheriff Douglas B. Miller, end of watch, June 9th, 1986. Deputy Sheriff Paul R. Bush, end of watch, September 12th, 1990. Santa Clara County State Traffic Force. Traffic Officer Albert S. Margison, End of watch, March 27th, 1927. Representing the San Jose Police Department, Captain Carlos Acosta. San Jose Police Department. Morris V. Hubbard. End of watch, July 12, 1924. Officer John Buck. End of watch, April 5, 1933. Officer John Kovalesk. End of watch, November 15, 1950. Officer Richard Huerta, end of watch, August 6, 1970. Officer Robert A. White, January 27, 1985. Officer Henry I. Bunch, end of watch, July 29, 1985. Officer Robert L. Worth, end of watch, September 8, 1988. Officer Gordon A. Silva, end of watch, January 20th, 1989. Officer Jean R. Simpson, end of watch, January 20th, 1989. Officer Desmond Casey, end of watch, October 25th, 1999. Officer Jeffrey M. Fontana, end of watch, October 28th, 2001. Officer Michael J. Johnson, end of watch, March 24th, 2015. Officer Michael J. Catherman, end of watch, June 14th, 2016. Representing the California Highway Patrol, Captain Christian Oliver. California Highway Patrol, San Jose area. George A. Humbard, Jr., end of watch, November 29th, 1944. <phone rings> Officer Raymond H. Berry, end of watch, April 8th, 1945. <phone rings> Officer Ralph Vargas, 
end of watch, September 30th, 1952. Officer Coburn B. Jewell, end of watch, February 1st, 1964. Officer Charles R. Lilly, end of watch, October 29th, 1967. Officer William D. McKim, end of watch, February 6th, 1973. Officer Adolfo M. Hernandez, end of watch, June 27th, 1975. Officer Frederick W. Enright, end of watch, June, tw June 27th, 1975. Officer Scott M. Greenlee, end of watch, January 7th, 1998. Representing Sunnyvale Department of Public Safety, Officer Randy Lewis. Sunnyvale Department of Public Safety. Gary L. Larson, end of watch, January 28, 1962. Public Safety Officer Charles W. Morris, end of watch, September 23, 1972. Public Safety Officer Charles P. Fraker, end of watch, August 1, 1976. Public Safety Officer Edward J. Roth, November 29, 1980. Public Safety Officer Manny Lopez, Jr., end of watch, March 3, 1987. Representing the Palo Alto Police Department, Lieutenant Brian Phillips. The Palo Alto Police Department, Officer Lester H. Cole, end of watch January 31st, 1969. Officer Gene A. Clifton, end of watch November 19th, 1971. Officer Theodore H. Brzezinga, end of watch May 15th, 1994. Representing the Santa Clara Police Department, Sergeant Greg Degar. Santa Clara Police Department, Officer George Weibark, March 14, 1910. Officer William L. Rickabaugh, January 11, 1966. Officer Ben L. Mendes, October 20th, 1971. Sergeant Alamudi, bring formation to attention and present arms. Sergeant Alamudi, bring formation to order arms.
Sergeant Alamode, bring formation at ease. I would like to now invite Pastor Birchfield back to the podium to lead us in the benediction. Join with me now as we pray once again. Heavenly Father, we once again lift our hearts up to you and we pray as we bring this memorial time to a close that you would so grace all of us never to forget these who offered up their lives in ultimate sacrifice to keep our community safe. We also pray that you would send protection to all of those officers that continue to serve as they continue to carry out their duty, protecting us, keeping our community safe. Our prayer to you would be that you would so grant it that we would not lose another officer, and yet we know that that is a possibility. And so please be at work in us. I pray you would work in the community as well putting it into the hearts of all the citizens to be lifting up our respective law enforcement agencies in prayer and to be praying for them for grace, strength, sufficiency, and protection. And so now we want to close by praying this prayer that you taught us to pray, our Father, who are in heaven, hallowed be your name. May your kingdom come and may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but please deliver us from evil and the evil one. Yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Bring your kingdom quickly, we pray. Amen. The ceremony would not be possible without the planning and coordination efforts by so many of our personnel and volunteers. As we conclude this memorial gathering, I'd like to acknowledge and thank the following. The Santa Clara Sheriff's Pipe and Drums Corps. Thank you. The Santa Clara Sheriff's Honor Unit. Pastor Birchfield for the invocation and benediction. Deputy Rosie Dominguez for the national anthem. The Santa Clara County Sheriff's Office Courts Division. Santa Clara County Fleet and Facilities. The Santa Clara County Communications the Santa Clara County Fire District, the Santa Clara Office Programs Unit, the Santa Clara County Roads and Airport, the Garden ha Harvest for Catering, the Gilroy Police Department, the Mounted Unit, Santa Clara Valley Transportation Authority, the various police associations, the corporate businesses, the private community members who donated to the construction of the Santa Clara County Peace Officers Memorial. And finally, the Deputy Sheriff's Association of Santa Clara County, along with the Santa Clara County Correctional Peace Officers Association, who continue to be supportive to our memorial program each year. Please join us at the reception immediately following this ceremony across the street at the Sheriff's Office Ritchie Training Center, located on the corner of San Pedro and Heading. Thank you to each and every one of you for being with us today to honor those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. Thank you.